Welcome to another Midweek Memo. I've had COVID for the last couple of days and I'm so pleased to be finally seeing a negative test and I'm able to get back into the company of friends. And it's made me think of those verses that we looked at at the weekend that come at the end of that account of the Last Supper in Matthew, where Jesus basically says to his friends, look, when this is all over, let's have a drink. Well, he doesn't quite say that, but it's actually not miles away from what he says. He says, I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. It's uh, an astonishing picture of the future. You know, often when we take the Lord's Supper, we think backwards to the cross, and quite rightly so. But here is an amazing and surprising picture of the future there too. And number one, it's It's with Jesus. And secondly, it's in the company with Jesus. This sort of sense of feasting and celebration just across the table from him. So the next time you take the Lord's Supper, why don't you let it point you forward? You know, I think particularly at this time when so much is going on in our immediate here and now, we need to be pointed forward to the hope of that feast that time when we will sit with our Saviour and enjoy his company. A few notices to share with you. First of all, while we're on the subject of communion, uh, we've been taking communion in just one kind, just the bread, for some time now. And I know many of us are eager to be able to take both the bread and the wine. And we're thinking carefully at the moment the way that we can introduce that again in a way that is still safe. Secondly, Um, We are going to be welcoming John and Claire Featherstone this Sunday in our morning service. John is coming to join us as our associate vicar, so do come and be there on Sunday uh, to welcome them and pray for them as they begin their ministry with us. Third, the April Guide is published this Sunday, so do come along and pick that up as well to find out all the stuff that's happening in and around church in this coming month. And finally, don't forget that this Sunday is a Sunday where the clocks go forward. This is the one where if you don't concentrate, you arrive at church late. So uh, do just make sure that your clock is saying the right thing on Sunday morning. And particularly if it's one of those automatic ones that's already made the right decision for you, don't get confused. Hopefully see you at just the right time on Sunday. Thanks so much for joining us.